Oh. oh boy. Wow, my head really hurts. Where am I? Why am I wearing silk ballet tights that leave nothing to the imagination? Holy smokes, that Christmas tree is now a hundred feet tall. What's going on over there? That looks like a, an army of gingerbread men are preparing for battle. Wow. Except that one guy in the back is handing out brochures. He must be a Quaker. I say, who, who are you, stout fellow? I'm General Gingerthwaite, commander of the Allied Gingerbread Brigade. Have you come to join us in our battle against the dreaded mice? Well, I'm not sure. My name's Jim Harris from Avenue G. The last thing I remember is being hit over the head with a nutcracker, but somehow I survived. So you have military training, then. Excellent. We shall make you our field marshal. You shall lead our troops into battle. Wow. But I, I got no beef with the mice. As, as long as they stay out of my cupboard, so they can do whatever they want. Oh, and if only they, that were that simple. You must understand, Jim. We are in an existential battle with them. You must help us. Or all will be lost. They are advancing on our kingdom as we speak. Here, take this sword and this sash. And for your protection, we'll give you this steel-plated card piece. Is, th is that really necessary? And several dragoons from our forward pastry unit took some shrapnel in the uh, raisins. Wow. And we've taken precautions ever since. This is really heavy. I, I can't even walk with it on... How do your troops manage? Ours are made of marzipan, but we can discuss that later. We have no time to lose. Look, Jim, just over that hill. The mice army is advancing. Can you see them? Yes. What is that they're carrying? They, they have machine guns. Yes, that's right. Now lift up your sword and lead us to victory. Uh, wait, now hold on. This sword won't do me any good. They have machine guns. Not to worry. If they blast a hole in you, we'll just fill it with gingerbread and you'll be sound as a pound. Uh, I'm a human being, not a gingerbread man. You can't just fill my wounds with cake. Oh, good point. Well, we'll have to use frosting as well. But don't think about that now. Sure, the mice may outnumber us and have real bullets and rocket launchers. What? And I think they have a tank as well. Oh, great. But we have courage. The love of our countrymen, and most importantly, Elon. Elon? I don't even know what that is. I'm sorry, General, but this is crazy. Here, take your sword back. I'm joining the mice. Hey, mice! Don't shoot! I want to be on your side. Stay there, I'll run over to you. Who are you? What are you doing on our battlefield? Excuse me, but who's in charge around here? I am... My name is Field Marshal Lieutenant General Squeaker. Oh, I'm glad to meet you. My name's Jim Harris. I'm a human from Germantown. Those gingerbread men, they tried to get me to join their army, but they're nuts. Come to think of it, some of them actually contain nuts. How do we know you're not a spy? You could be a gingerbread man dressed up in a human costume. No, I swear, I, I'm, I'm human. I, I, I really want to join you guys, after all. We're all mammals, right? Uh, gingerbread men are just cake. I have much more in common with you all. I, I love mice. Really? And how come you have cat hair on your jacket? Oh. Um, that's not that's not cat hair. It's it, it's goat hair. There are goats all over Germantown. You you know you can't walk five minutes without running into a, a goat. Mm, that's funny. The last time I was in Germantown, there weren't any goats at all. Well, uh, times have changed. You know what? When when was the last time you were there? Back in the 80s. Back then, Michael Jackson was all the rage. Yeah. There were no goats. And Eagles fans' expectations were unreasonably high. Well, well sure, that, that's how it was back then. But, but since then, Michael Jackson died. And uh, everyone, everyone owns a goat. And, oh, and Eagles fans' expectations are, are s still unreasonably high. I, some things never change. All right. You can join us, but get in the back. That steel codpiece and those silk tights look ridiculous. That's fine by me. Look, I'll be behind the lines listening to my Barbra Streisand albums uh, if you need me, okay? I'm just going to go over here. What's that glowing blue ball floating down from the sky? It looks like some sort of fairy. Pray tell, who are you, magical lady? I am the Sugar Plum Fairy. Have you come to save me and send me back to my home in Germantown? No, Jim. I have come here to tell you what a wimp you are. What? How can you be such a coward, Jim? You call yourself a musician, and yet here you sit hiding when you could be out there singing protest songs. If Pete Seeger were here, would he be running away like a frightened baby rabbit? Gosh darn it, you're right. I need to put an end to this foolish war the only way I know how. 
with annoying protest songs that repeat the same line over and over. Quick, hand me my tambourine. I've got some peacemaking to be, to, to be making. Attention all you mice and gingerbread persons. Yes, gather around. I've got a song to sing, and I'm going to sing it now. What would you like to hear? Anything in particular? That's good. I, that's what I was going to do. Everybody talking about gingerbread, go to bed, sugar plum, kettle drum, crazy mice, cinnamon, candy rice, olive oil, Popeye, bye bye, bye bye. All we are saying is give mice a chance. That's right. All we are saying is give mice a chance. Come on, say it with me. We say, all we are saying, give mice a chance. Give mice a chance. All we are saying. Jim, Jim, wake up. Wow, that was an amazing dream.